Getting kids to fall asleep on time, oh, that could be a tough task. <laughs> so when students at one Detroit elementary school realized they weren't catching enough Z's, they got some help. Local 4's Everett Cassimy shows us what they have that sure beats counting sheep. These students are buzzing now, but they are going to sleep well tonight. Sometimes I go to bed at 1 o'clock on a school night. In the morning? <laughs> yes, sir. Fifth grader Asia Isaac and other students here at Bethune Elementary are learning about the importance of a good night's sleep. This is all part of a sleep education program put on by the local nonprofit Sweet Dreams. Our mission is to bring sleep education and sleep kits to at-risk children and their families. So many families don't understand the importance of sleep for their child and especially for their education. Marshawn Wilson doesn't stay up as late as his classmate Asia, but still learned a lot about sleeping today. Before you go to sleep, you should wash up, brush your teeth, and don't go to sleep in like clothes that you're not supposed to go to sleep in. Go to sleep in pajamas and eat healthy food. So every one of these students gets either a sleeping bag or a blanket, as well as a pillow and one of these nighttime sleeping kits, which inside includes a t-shirt, a bedtime storybook, and even a toothbrush and toothpaste. Asia already knew which one she wanted. Sleeping bag. I like exploring, so I go camping sometime. Tonight, Asia will be going to bed a lot earlier. She and Marshawn had this to say to other kids their age. Get a good rest before you before you go to sleep and go to sleep early. You shouldn't be up at 12, 11, 10, 9. Just go to sleep at 8 o'clock, 8.30, or possibly if you're an early sleeper, go to sleep at 7.30. In Detroit, Everett Casimi, Local 4. Look at him with that advice. Right? I love it. We need to sign him up to get kids to go. And now he's got a, all this, you know, sleeping bag. He's dying to go to sleep. I know, exactly. Uh, we should let you know, by the way, there's a 9,000 student waiting list for Sweet Dreams Sleep Education Program. Bethune Elementary, by the way, waited four years for them to come there. And all the items given to students were donated to the nonprofit. Great yeah. story.